I love to dry fly fish. And when I get to a river and I want to dry fly fish, I'll sit down on the bank, I'll kind of ready my gear, tie in some tippet, and I'll watch the water. I'll look for rising fish, I'll look for insects, I'll look for birds flying around that are taking insects, and I'll do exactly what the river tells me to do. In other words, if I get here in the evening and I see birds flying around like we're seeing, I'll think, oh, probably caddis, but I'll look for caddis shucks, I'll look for some adults, I'll look for some emerging caddis, and I'll tie on the appropriate pattern. By doing just a little homework, you, you can prepare yourself for those kind of emergences and that kind of dry fly fishing. So I'll sit on the bank, I'll look for some duns or spinners. This morning when we got here, I saw a big tail come out of the water. That indicated a fish feeding on, on a nymph that's just prior to emerge. I love to do what the river tells me to do, and it only takes a minute or two to find those clues, to uncover those clues. You're not on the appropriate fly, you walk out and you have a great evening or a great morning of fishing. So here we are, and I'll, I'll pick a spot like this to begin my dry fly fishing. Usually fish will lay in these feeding lanes, these foam lanes, these seams. That's where their groceries are going to be delivered. And let's assume we have a good rise of fish right now. I'm going to be fishing Tenkara. My first cast is going to be straight upstream. I love to fish straight upstream. That's straight upstream dead drift. It's coming at me how I defeat drag as I'll lift the rod like this to take in the slack. Again, straight upstream dead drift. The next type of cast I'll make is quartering. Quartering up and across. A quarter, I'll mend now. I'm mending upstream. Putting some line upstream. Perhaps you can see that fly floating very naturally as I mend. That's up and across. There's one other method of, of uh, presentation in this instance, and that's straight across. And I might cast straight across. Notice drag. If I don't mend my line, I'm going to get drag. Drag is your enemy when fishing dry flies. It creates an unnecessary belly in your line, and what it does is it speeds your fly up and it wakes your fly. Again, straight upstream with a tenkara. I'm taking in slack by lifting I'm defeating drag by lifting my line. Should a fish take my fly, I can simply set the hook and I'll be into the fish. Another presentation with a dry fly, assuming a fish rises right at the bank. To present my cast, I'm going to make a simple short cast like this. Notice a very slight mend and I'll get a perfect presentation. Should the fish rise almost directly downstream from me, I'll cast a foot or two above that fish and I'll throw just a little bit of slack and now I'll mend. This is down and across. Again, another mend so that I can get a perfectly drag-free float. Again, drag is very, very bad. You'll put the fish down. Another one I'll do is straight downstream and I'll check my cast like that and notice the slack line that I get in the cast. That allow me to feed a little bit of line even with a tenkara and get a perfect presentation. My fly is still floating drag free all the way into that cast. So you have a down and across, a mend, you have a straight downstream, check your cast, creating a, some slack, stop your cast, creating some S's, see that line, I'm still feeding it out, it's perfect presentation, drag free, and then straight even with me, should a, a fish rise right there, and then I'm going to have to mend to defeat drag. These are the presentation casts I'll use to fish dry flies in water such as this. You want to make a perfect pinpoint accurate cast. Basically 10 to noon, you get a good candy cane effect. You let it go, boom, you're right on target. Fly landed right on the boulder. Again, without even making a false cast, and that's the beauty of Tenkara. Pick your target, cast, and you're right on target, right on that rock. With a little practice, you'll be doing just perfect. A fixed line tenkura rod is so easy to learn this cast. Simply pick it up, you're right there. Pick it up and practice this cast. Pick it up, don't go way back and come forward. Pick it up, 
and go right back out. You'll be doing just fine after you practice this cast for 10 or 15 minutes. Quite often people will say to bring the cast right up to your nose, it's very cumbersome, you'll hit your hat. You want to angle your rod slightly off, maybe a 30 degree, to keep your fly and your fly line away from your hat. Other obstructions, it's not a wrist, it's your, strictly your arm. If you break your wrist, you're going to cause that problem there. It's all in the arm, there's no power involved, simply pick it up bring it back and if you have trouble just watch the candy cane develop your line forms a candy cane just make that 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock if you break your wrist if you do this you're going to get you're not going to have accuracy but by breaking the wrist you're going to cause a, a big sloppy loop you'll have problems in the wind and that's the problem you'll have the wind will blow your cast back that's why you want to use your arm it's not anything to do with power. The line casts the fly. The rod merely moves the line. And that's why beginners and ladies always pick it up. It's a timing. It's not, it's not power at all. There's no power involved. Simply pick it up and recast. You want to be kind of flexible when you're, I don't care if you're fishing tenkara or traditional. You want to move your body. You want to face your target. I like to face it with a little bit of a, an angle, maybe 15-20% angle. A lot of people get down low, you can get down low to defeat wind. If The lower you make the cast, the more you're going to be uh, out of the wind. If you make your cast real high on a windy day, you'll suffer blowback from the wind and your fly and your line will all come back into your face. So stay a little bit low and you'll defeat wind and you'll also defeat drag. The beauty of Tenkara too is no false casting. So many anglers you see on the river false cast 10 times. Simply pick it up and go right back out again. Whether you're fishing nymphs or dry flies or whatever. Pick it up, go right back out there. If you're not, if your fly's not in the water, you're not gonna catch fish. So do what the, do what the river tells you to do. Present that drag free presentation for dry fly fishing. You're going to catch a lot of fish, I guarantee it.